is a game changer. This is totally different. The big, sharp bite incision. And what it means, chest tubes, abdominal bulging, long recovery, postoperative pain, big removals of the, of the ribs. Now with the, with the x lift approach, we just go directly with the problem is. And to see this arc of me struggling, looking for someone to help my patients, to the point now that we see this fruition where we're delivering care to patients, changing their lives, making a difference, seeing patients get up and walk who I would never have thought they would have been able to. January 4th this year, I went up to the mountain with about five of my friends. I had no idea what was going to happen, but I knew something was wrong as soon as I hit the, the ramp, just because it was just super slick. It shot me straight off, and I just remember landing on my back. They were able to get helicopter rescue up to the mountain and flew them to the University Medical Center Trauma Center. So I was able to get there about the same time that he arrived in the uh, helicopter. And uh, within probably about 10 minutes of having a CT scan, we had the gentleman back in the operating room. Malik had an L1 compression fracture with a subluxation um, of his uh, T12 and L1. So he had about a, probably about a 40 degree kyphosis. His spinal cord diameter was about 95% compromised. We were able to take a little piece of the rib out. We were able to release the diaphragm a traumatically and through a little, you know, four to five centimeter incision, able to do a complete corpectomy, stabilize it through a single incision using the corpectomy, using traverse plating. And this gentleman was, you know, out of his bed with a brace on, walking physical therapy about 48 hours after this operation. And Dr. Smith came in and he goes, can you stand up? And when he stood up, he just got, Dr. Smith had this big grin on his face like, yeah, we did this, you know, we did it. In my experience, my, my hands using old technology, he would have been in the hospital for two or three weeks. We didn't have to put a chest tube in this young man. He was able to be mobilized and get back to his life very, very quickly. His path could have been totally different. He could have been paralyzed for life. I'm now in the gym again. I've been working out a lot. Uh, I've been back to playing catch, lacrosse, I've been swimming a lot, like, I really appreciate everything so much more. I'm grateful. I really am. I really am. With x 2 and all the advancements and refinements we've made, I'm treating cancer patients, trauma patients, getting to them faster, getting them out of their pain, getting their spinal cord decompressed so they can get on with their lives so that my surgical intervention is not the last thing they remember, but it's really the beginning of their lives. This cage is amazing. The cage is a wide footprint, very stable, and you get in and out very easily. I can flow to the surgery with no problem. The profile of the end piece are amazing. The mechanism of expand is smooth. These instruments are low profile, more slim. With x 2 in your bag, there's nothing else on the market that's gonna compete with you. You're selling on the benefits of not only the cage, but the procedure, the length of stay for the patient, the ease of use for the surgeon, and the overall better outcomes. x 2 you can take to the field with the full confidence that it is the best product that is on the market. We have an obligation, an absolute obligation to get this to our surgeons, get it in their hands, and speak with the passion and conviction that we know is gonna drive the results that they wanna see.